What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I want to talk about mount speed in ESO and how it has changed since update 29. Uh, there's a lot of you out there probably on console thinking your mounts may be a little bit slower now. Uh, of course there is some different things you can put into the skill tree, of course in the champion point system in the green tree. But I'm sure a lot of you are probably used to also using like something like Rapids Charging Maneuver, whatever the case may be here in the Assault skill line. And as you can see now, if you look at this ability, it says uh, Mobilize Forces Granting Major and Minor Expedition to you and your group, uh, increasing movement speed uh, by 30% and 15% respectively. This now does not affect mount speed. This is only going to affect your own foot speed. So a lot of people may use this in PvP. A lot of people may also use this in trials and things like that if we're trying to do speed runs. But now there's a way that you can get some quicker mount speed uh, about a 30% increase with hardly any work whatsoever, no matter what level you are. As long as you've hit level 10, you can go into PvP and do this. Uh, you will, you'll be able to have that 30% mount speed. And that comes from Continuous Attack. Now Continuous Attack, as you can see kind of at the bottom of the uh, uh, description here, you gain major gallop at all times, increasing your mount speed by 30% automatically. So let's look at what my mount's going to look like without uh, without this attack, uh, equipped, excuse me. Uh, you can see it's not exactly very quick anymore. It's not as fast as it used to be if you had rapid zone or something like that. Now let's go in here and um, we'll just put one point into continuous attack. That is all you need is just the one point. And now we'll get on the mount and you can see the big difference here. So if you are a lower level player, if you've just started playing the game, you don't have a mount speed of 60 and stam of 60, this is going to help out no matter what level you are. High level, low level, whatever the, whatever the case may be, this is definitely going to help out when it comes to mount speed. As you can see, this is a lot quicker. Now, if you are a new player, it's like I said, as long as you've hit level 10, you can go into Cyrodiil to the, uh, let's go right down here to campaigns. You can choose any of these campaigns within Cyrodiil um, that you have available. You can go in and actually do the quest at the start of uh, at the Cyrodiil quest. Uh, you don't have to even do them. You can, or you can even just talk to the uh, individual there at the tent, the general, and tell them, you know, that you already know all the stuff. Kind of the same thing you would do for any of your other crafting things. Uh, you know, if you already know some of the things, it'll say, you already know it, go ahead and certify me anyway. Same kind of concept when it comes to PvP. You can tell them, you know, you already know everything. Uh, they will give you the XP. Uh, they will give you the alliance points. And that will put you pretty much at Assault Level 2 automatically. All you, all you have to have to unlock um, the skill that I just showed you here in the uh, Assault Tree, this continuous attack to get one point into it, is Assault Level 3. So after you have done those quests in Cyrodiil, you can either play a little bit in Cyrodiil, whatever you, whatever, you know, kind of whatever you prefer. If you have some friends that play, you can go hang out with them and play. It won't take very long at all to get to 3. Uh, or you can go play a couple of Battlegrounds matches. You will get to 3 very quickly that way because you still get Alliance points through Battlegrounds. Either way, no more than an hour to unlock this i'm going to say probably no more than 30 minutes or less for most people but then you will be able to have continuous attack which will give you a lot faster mount speed and you'll have to do this on each individual character of course and you have to rank up the assault line but like i said you always can go into cyrodiil at level 10 uh or as soon as you hit level 10 and do the the main quest there and get up to uh, level two and then you can you know like i said either play in cyrodiil or play battlegrounds for the last two levels and that 30 percent extra movement speed is going to be a big help for if you have a farm character or a big help if you're just now starting out and you only have like one or two points into your speed and stamina on your mounts. It's going to be a big, big difference when it comes to that extra 30% and getting around the map a lot quicker. I hope this helps you out, guys. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time.